Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball. The World Series is tied up one game apiece. It goes to Philly, becomes the five game series. Let's talk all about it. Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's brought to you by SeatGeek, who's been sponsoring everything we're doing this postseason with the code Jomboy Playoffs. Get you 10% tic- 10% off tickets of any ticket you want. Trevor Plouffe was in town for the last two days. He's on his way back to California, so he's not with us on the show. It's myself. It's Jake. It's BBD behind the dish producing, and it's the Astros who win game two, Jake. They did it. They did it. I mean, there was there was a little when we were streaming and when we were thinking about this game, it was like, you know, some people like Wheeler more than Nola and Phillies have some the juice, whatever we we can't label it as in sports. Uh, but the boys in Houston did what they had to do. And it's it's lining up for a beauty, man. I know we're going to finish up this episode with game three. Halloween night. In Philly, that's going to be one of the ugliest scenes in the world. Uh, and I'm excited to get there. But the Astros took care of their business. We were doing the kind of not win-win, because if you're Houston, you you obviously want to win both games at home. But, like, the Phillies took one, and then Houston answered. And it's not like they looked awful in game one, like JV just gave up the lead. So it's we're, we're lining up for a good World Series. I think, I think this is uh, what... Everyone expected, maybe not Phillies fans when they took game one, but I I didn't think the Astros were going to go down too. Actually, I've read the stat that the Astros have lost every game of the World Series in the last five World Series they've been in. It's kind of interesting. I guess the dragging out to five includes the 2005 World Series. Lost every game in the World Series? Game one. Every game one. Every game one game okay. one. Yes. Every game one. Yes. Skip that. One. Um, the Nationals actually won because the Nationals, every team won on the road. So the Nationals won game one and two. Uh, but against the Dodgers, they split. And against the Braves, they lost game one. And then one game two. So and then I was at, at, at first I heard that and I was like, oh, OK, this is just kind of what the Astros do. But then I was thinking, well, they've only won one of the. Right. Three World Series. So it's good for the Phillies. Did they? They were down five nothing in game one, but we, we got to do game two. Let's burn it. Game two in Houston, and the Astros would put out a Framber alert for a missing W in game one as Valdez would try to make sure. The Phils and Zach would not be wheels up with a happy flight back to Philly. Bottom one, double, double, foul ball, double. Wheeler on the mound with no wallet or shoes because he got jumped. Two runs on four bit pitches, and then these bitches do not love Sosa. E6 as the defensive replacement has a throwing error. It is three nothing h town and then in the fifth my salsa reggie two run homer after dusty with the delay how about that five nothing houston woo woo framber was nasty philly looked like that bad movie trouble with the curve or whatever it is because they couldn't touch him he goes 6.1 one earn run the fightings put up a couple late but it is not enough as houston hold serve and they win game two five to two fine wow little shots fired at trouble with the curve didn't see that coming it's a, it's a 6.7 out of 10 moving from you or somewhere else 
from me, I'm going to guess that's low. I think that movie is uh, got a good. Oh, 6.8 on IMDb. So you I'm are kind of low on it. I'm a, I'm a little low on it. Yeah, you're a little low on it. Yeah, I was very excited for it, but the ending kind of kind of was like, eh, you know, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, before we get into this game one, which had some fun moments and some fun mental game aspects of it, mm-hmm. of it, our game one of Blitzball Battle Two, Baggage, Forgotten, Rotten, Redemption, We Got Ice, Love Yous comes out Monday of this week. We got a little trailer for you, so here you go. All right, Jake, I felt like this game, you mentioned the delay there from Dusty with the really bizarre replay, like late replay that wasn't going to get overturned, but then it it slows down uh, the Phillies and then Bregman hits a home run. I thought like this whole game was a battle of delays and the Phillies want to go fast, 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 and the Astros want to say, slow down, play our game. Framber, he takes a while to pitch. The, the pitcher gets set and then he steps off and the pit the, or the batter gets set and then he bends down and then he's touching his hand. And he's taking his glove off and putting it on and he's messing with everyone's head. Wheeler, he likes to grab and go. And that first inning, they were making him slow down. And then Dusty does it. So that was kind of like the game within the game for me was the Astros just seem to really want to slow this game down on all sides of the ball. Yeah, I, I, I maybe control the tempo more because when Framber wants to go, he goes um, like it when he's clicking and he he decides he he's not ready to be a showman yet, like so, in some of those middle innings. But once he he fully found it and he knew they weren't going to do anything off of him. And yeah, you're squatting on the mound. You're you're dancing a little bit. You don't care. You're smiling. You do care. Um and then, I, I mean, Wheeler, he, he didn't have his best stuff. He he was missing middle. Um, that was a shout out to our guy, Peter Moylan. Moylan was worried about Wheeler missing middle in this game, and he did uh, three of the first four pitches. They they go actually four for four. I mean, Jordan hit a foul ball on one, uh, but there's three doubles and four pitches, and it's two nothing in a game that you really had to have. Like, it, you know. I know must win gets overused in sports because uh, they they could have not. But to go do- down 0-2 to this Phillies team and then head to Philly for three would have been a brutal task. And they put up a two spot in the first. And then, I mean, after that, man, I mean, Wheeler for not having his best stuff, he still settles in and he's putting zeros on the board. That error by Sosa, I know it happened and you're like, oh, that's bad. But, like, that's so bad. You're the defensive replacement guy, and you give the Astros a free run in the first inning? That's that's atrocious. Um, and I, I think, like, everyone just kind of shrugged a little bit and was like, well, Philly's defense, that kind of happens. Like, not supposed to be with that guy. And it's a World Series game. Uh, to go from two to three, uh, I mean, that, that was nuclear at the time. They gave the error to six on the throw. I mean, we've seen Reeser do this in the postseason a bunch, just kind of like slap the ball instead of catch it or drop ones in his glove. I mean, I know it's not a perfect throw, but I don't even know if it was bounced. Like Reese got to catch that. It bounced. I mean, you got to, you got to, I mean, we've done this a lot on talking Yanks this year. You got to put, you got to put that throw in the chest, man. You um, do. Yeah, I guess Reeser had a good, Reeser could have picked it, but he's still trying to pick a ball in the dirt. Um, like that's World Series defensive replacement. Can't be doing that. Well, he's starting for the lefty, right? Which is interesting. They do that. I don't know if he's that much of an upgrade, but I guess he comes in anyway. Yeah, he's been defensive replacing Bohm, but he has and been then, starting and then starting versus, versus lefties. lefties. Yeah, but I, I mean. A, I, I mean, we can get there in hindsight's uh, a little 2020, but how good Stott had looked. Um, but that ties into the whole Phillies thing. Like they, 
that's been their plan. Veerling and Sosa um, against the lefty. Uh, Stotts looked really good. Um, I, I would have liked to see him out there. And again, maybe that's a hindsight thing. And this is the same Phillies team we talked about. Should they change their lineup? They didn't. And they got to the World Series. So it, yeah. it is what it is a little bit. But you got to make that throw. It is. I'm watching it again now. Like, I, I, yes, you got to make a better throw. I think I think majority of first basemen catch that on the fly. Like he's not even outstretched. And or, you know, so that's it's a combination because we've seen Reese drop it. I, the throw has to be there. That's at part one. But I I think a lot of good first basemen catch that before it hits the ground. Uh, just turn their glove over and extend their leg fully and catch it. But that's that's been one of the plagues of the Phillies this year, which hasn't really plagued them at all because they're in the World Series and they were up one nothing. It's a big play in this game. It's it's crazy. It would <laughs> this Phillies team that has been so threatening and so powerful. Any time a runner would have gotten on base, you would have had the tying run at the plate for those for four innings. <clears throat> that. Instead, it was a three-run game, which, uh, you know, in World Series baseball, that's not supposed to be attainable. I know we were talking about a Phillies team that just came back from 5 nothing, but especially Framber Valdez, who's one of the few starting pitchers that the more he gets settled in, the better he gets. It's not like a third-time through thing. When he finds that curveball and he's cruising, he's nasty because you know the whole scouting report. Jim, you were laughing. His Where he throws his curveball, it's that – down and in pocket. That's yeah. where it's going. Like it, the scouting report is a lot of those and a couple fastballs. And guess what? He had the most quality starts consecutive that a guy has had in a season this year. And then he just dropped it in the world series. Yep. And had everyone talking about uh sticky stuff again, which is, I don't know, man. I, I know that I, our, our audience has grown to the point where people tell me I can't do this. I absolutely love all of it. Uh, Rob Thompson had a great response, uh, which I wish uh, other coaches had like not an excuse. He was like, oh, whatever. Yeah, we knew it. We knew he did it last time. If MLB finds something, they find something. They check them. And and it it very well could be rosin and, and sweat or most likely is. I don't know. Um, and it could be Framber playing a lot of head games, which I would love because the amount of shit he does requesting to wear the dark jerseys when he pitches that they only wore on Sunday away games. I mean, like, no, I want those when I pitch and people saying, cause he wants to rub it off before he goes to the umpire, which he does rub it off, rub his hand on his Jersey before he goes to the umpire, uh, changing his glove halfway through the game. He's done that his last three starts. That's weird. Changing his cleats. That's weird too. That has nothing to do with anything. Like that's no, not suspect at all, but it's just like, okay, this guy's just, He's almost like a hockey goalie. Some hockey goalies like get undressed in between the period and get back dressed like three innings. Okay. New cleats, new glove, new game. Maybe that's what and he's Jimmy, doing. That's the sick part. Cause all of it could have nothing to do with anything. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. And it, he, obviously he was clearly, you know, going to that glove hand and getting a little bit, but you know, they were, they were checking his paws be, between each inning and, uh, and the Phillies and the Phillies know this because because I got emails from scouts of other teams and places saying like the Phillies better check this. He goes to his glove. I was trying to text you guys those yesterday. Like the Phillies know this, um, and that's what Thompson said. He was like, "Yeah, we know this. He did it last card. Did it like they have people scouring tape on these guys." That's where and, I, I think it ended up being head games. I, I do think World Series game two goes down as head game day uh, with everything Framber did. <laughs> Um, and then, I mean, that, that dusty review, maybe, maybe we're in a sick place where we're, we're digging to give weird credit places, but I don't know. Well, why are we reviewing that? And then we started kind of just cause if you've seen enough baseball, we started joking on the stream, like, you know, you just iced Wheeler for a couple minutes. If you're braggy, sw swing big and maybe he leaves you one middle and he, he ends up doing it and it's five Oh. Now, do you think I haven't read a lot of what Phillies fans are saying after this game? Wheeler didn't look great. Like, I don't think he ever looked locked no. in, locked in. And at that point, he has he's at like 60 pitches, actually, because they jumped him so quick that they didn't drag it on. 
do they wish i mean you have a a 1-0 lead it's a close game it's three what was the score at that point before the bregman home run it was three 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 nothing. nothing and you have bullpen and an off day would you have pulled them is that are phillies fans upset they didn't pull wheeler i mean do you either pull them or don't throw that 2-0 pitch to break yeah i mean he he in a way he'd settled down he, you're putting up zeros against houston uh and he's he's still your guy like you know, this is a, a guy that a lot of people think is better than Nola, who pitched in game one. He's a dude for this team. If he was someone else, if he was their third or fourth starter, and maybe you have some of those conversations. But this is Wheeler. You won game one. You can't overexpose your good bullpen. You're down three. And you kind of can't over overexpose your second bullpen because with games three and four coming up, that the depths of that Philly, Philly bullpen are going to be tested more. You're you're going to have to get through some innings with some of those guys who we ended up seeing later in this game and Philly's bullpen looking pretty good right now. Um, for me, it's just a little bit baseball kicked in here um, that I think the pause before that at bat, I think Wheeler goes down 2-0 and then he absolutely grooves one and you can't do that. And then, hey, I, I know this is digging too far back, but if if you if if Sosa and Hoskins connect in the first inning and it's two nothing, and that's a bonus out, you know, later in the game, are are you facing Bregman there, or was that the out? I know you can't do that, especially over a five inning span, but uh, baseball does that, and and I think that's just what happened. Yeah, and the offense never gave uh, Wheeler any juice to to play off of. Like it almost felt like yeah. And then sometimes that can happen where the offense goes out and puts up, okay, it's three, nothing after the first, they put up a one, even one spot in the top of the second and, or, and Wheeler then goes, okay, all right, they're fighting. Like, let's get back. It didn't happen till later when they had some chances and then they just always came down and the Phillies had some fun chances, especially in the eighth inning, which is kind of a story in a, of itself. Uh, I don't know if there's other stuff to get to before that, but that eighth inning, was as eventful and uneventful as they come. I Yeah, the only thing before that, I would say sixth inning, Framber, Walk, Schwarber, Hoskins, single. You've got Real Muto and Harper, strikes out Real Muto, and then he bangs Harper into a double play. So that, that was their first real opportunity to send a jolt into this game, and then the eighth inning. Yeah, the eighth inning for the Phillies. I mean, you open up with home run or wait, wait, wait. Stott walks with the crazy at bat. Yeah. Which I don't care if you have a lefty on the bump. I, I think you should play Stott. I mean, he's, he's been a wild card. He's crazy at bat 12 pitch at bat for Stott. He's averaging like seven pitches per plate appearance now in this world series. And then Kyle Schwarber hits a home run. It's not a home run. And they made a run around the bases. And you're thinking, oh, well, you never see a guy do that and then hit another one. And then he got oh, warning track out. That's a Two crazy sequence. No home runs. Two home runs. No home runs. Tough. Cra crazy sequence. Schwarbs, man. He, uh, yeah. I, I mean, Schwarber, Schwarber's going to join this party soon. Um, he, uh, it looked like his timing was a, a just a half click off or so. And now, I mean, that, that was great. Everyone kind of knew that it wasn't a homer except the umpires. Uh, you can kind of tell by Schwarber's reaction. It, the fans were passionate to the degree of not just being fans of the opposing team. Like everyone was like, that was, that was a foul ball. Um, I, I'm telling you, we're seeing more and more of these umpires call the thing that they think the stadium doesn't expect to be called for like a guffaw factor. I think he was calling it as if it ricocheted off the pole. Mm. Cause it looked at one point, like it kind of did, but yes, it's wild that watching on TV and all the fans in the stadium. And that's that dude's one job, man, that, that umpire that's deep. Literally like one job. Like what you got the line on bloops in front of you and you got the foul pole. That's your job. And everyone and in the stadium and everyone at home yeah. with their own eyesight is like, what? That was foul. And you go home yeah. run. 
we we didn't even react on the stream. We we were watching. We heard. I think Joe Davis said, "Home, it's a home run," and none of us still flinched. And then when they showed him circling the bases, we were all like, "Okay." It, but yeah, the, I mean that, that was just thing, bizarre. The only thing I wonder is if the umpire's doing the Astros a solid there because all home runs mm-hmm. are reviewed without a challenge. So by calling it a home run, you're guaranteed to go to the board right. instead of putting it in Dusty's hands if it's worthwhile, which obviously it is. Like how almost like in football, they started just calling everything because they knew that it could be challenged or whatever. But that's my one like excuse. Otherwise, I don't know how you call that. That Yeah, make make the call a little bit too. World Series, X Trumps. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, Schwarber, you know, gets gets jammed on one and he hits it, you know, 346 to right field where if it was 347, it's uh, it, it could have been a yacker, which I mean, credit to him for being able to come back in the box and do that. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Real Mudo reaches after that. And then Harper, he gets jammed, um, hoping to hoping to put another jolt in it and be these scary Phillies. And I. I know Phillies fans probably aren't ready for sad boy talk, but, um, you know, they look at this game and it, they were a couple swings. Uh, at, like it, this game, the Houston dominated and they were in control and there wasn't a ton of drama, but that's only because Philly had a couple swings or plays away. If that, if that Schwarbo bomb goes and you make the, the play in the first inning, like it, th- this game, was around it for them, but when Framber started rolling and and a couple of those things didn't happen, it was uh, it was Houston's night. And the guy who leads Houston in the World Series with hits, probably the guy I would have bet on on DraftKings who had good odds because he ended the ALCS with three little dinkers against the Yankees after going 0 for 22. I don't know. What do you think the odds were that he had that? And now Altuve goes, has a three hit night, has the most hits on the Astros, hitting balls above his head, at his toes, whatever, ducking out of the way of double play balls. I wouldn't have made that bet. That was a funny DraftKings. You would have made it though, for sure. Make, making your bets at DraftKings, because uh, the October baseball is here. People here probably know that. And DraftKings is the official sports betting partner of the World Series. And right now, if you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Use promo code JOMBOY and bet $5 to win $200 in free bets if your team wins. You can do that on the upcoming World Series games. We're getting at least five now. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code JOMBOY. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. MLB trademarks use with permission. How about that double play where Pena backhand tosses it to second and now Tube just ducks? The replays are hilarious. Yeesh. If that came oh. to matter, I mean, Harper gets into the double play afterwards, but if that came to matter, oh, man. That was probably, of of all, everything the Phillies were doing, and, you you know, they, they have their lineup that anytime there's a runner on, you think of Castellanos, Bomb, Harper, Real Muto, Hoskins, or Schwarber's got a chance to send one. Noodle. And make it more of a game. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle just got in my head on that one. Um, that play was the the only moment of like, oh, if the Phillies capitalize on this, that's when you start feeling it in the back of your knees if you're Houston. Like, to have a play like that, which, you know, was innocent. And it it's, again, it's where, it's where team baseball's Altuve. so, so beautiful because Real Muto's running. And he runs a hard 90 down to first. If it was a if it was someone who was slower, I think Pena fields it and eyeballs first base and fires one over and you get out of there. I think that was in his head that he had to go over in the middle a little bit, make the play. So he was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna go the short way and not risk that. And that was too late because Altuve oh. had ducked to get out of the way of the throw. I thought he was trying to turn two. I don't think so. I think he was just trying to get uh, a, for sh- a for sure out. I think um, I think Altuve read it that the for sure. Well, if you watch it, the way Altuve would have had to 
So I had it as a double play. Again, possible for Artuve to his even if it was a hard feed to get there and turn it, it would be like so awkward. Um, but yeah, they both I think there were two both, outs, right? Well, I didn't Harper hit into the double play after the Harper fly out to shortstop. When was this? Was this the eighth inning or the? Yeah, I think it was the eighth. I, th- I think that's when Harper flew out. I'm all twisted up. But uh, yeah, it was the eighth. I thought that was what was the Harper double play ball? Harper double double play ball was the sixth inning rally. Schwarber walk, Hoskins single. He strikes out real mood. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yes, yes. There's one out. So they both just chose which out was the easiest and they disagreed. Yes. It's funny. Harmless in the end. Very funny screenshot. Yeah, because oh, I, I wish one I wish Trev was on because I'd love to hear the communication breakdown there. You always hear about outfielders screaming it. And, you know, if the pitcher fields a ball or third baseman comes in, the catcher is yelling one, 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 because they see the field on that ball. Mm. How does that get communicated? I'm genuinely just curious to hear if that's something taught, like who would have to be yelling there? Payne is making the play. So he's not supposed to be like also yelling. But he's right. Shortstop. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll, that's- maybe we'll, we'll ask, remind me to ask Trev tomorrow. We'll have to bump Uncle Trev. I, I mean, the the best I would have, because Pena's fielding it. I mean, especially Altuve. I don't. I don't want to play the short card, but it feels like you got to get to the bag just in case you think that's a thought in his mind. But I don't know. I don't know. Seems like it would have to be discussed before the play. Like just plays at one, but plays at two is there as well. As, you know, get right. The course. I'm curious because it seems like a wrinkle now where I'm like, I don't know who's at fault. No one. It's just a weird fucking play. Just a weird tweener ball. I I would I would lean slightly to Ve, and again, credit to uh JT Real Muto, who puts uh I, I think if it's anyone else, any other catcher, how about that? Any other catcher in yeah. MLB running, I think Pena pops up and just fires to first. But it wasn't. It was the best one in the game. Uh, any other talking points we need to get to before we talk about game three? The Maldonado bat situation is funny, but nothing. I mean, remember those bats? I wonder if Trevor. Yeah, I, yeah, we, we were talking about that a little bit on the stream. I I don't care. Um, BBD, do you remember those bats? When you say remember those bats, what do you mean? The maple, the the Johnny Damon bat, the maple bat. Yes. I mean, they would splinter all over. They w- it wasn't they like they lot. would break in half. It would be shards of wood. They'd have to pick them off the grass and throw it. So they're illegal for that reason. They broke too easily and they were dangerous. There, there's no competitive advantage to them. It's just you know I don't food. you know I don't like saying this word and talking baseball people know I don't say this word. Those bats were hella dangerous. <laughs> yeah. It's just like we can't do this. I Johnny Damon would break a million bats a year. I wonder if there's there's people that kind of don't remember that, but uh, I did not know. It's an interesting tip. I did not know that pool holes, like they were grandfathered in, and pool has been using it for twelve years or ten years. Has he been breaking bats like crazy? Albert's never broken a bat. Um, but yeah, those bats were crazy dangerous. Yeah, so. I I think the only other thing that really really pops up, um. It's just bullpen conversations uh, because Montero, a Dusty stays with him further than than we thought. Uh, he he was pitch count head into the 30s. He had pitched a little bit the day before. Um, they let him stay in for Harper, which again felt like kind of one of those moments where it's like if if you if Harper clips you on your 30th pitch on your back to back days pitch, and that's going to be a bad look. He's also kind of your guy, so I understand it. It ends up not being a problem. And that was after the Schwarber stuff where he almost gave up two homers and Harper comes up. So that was kind of crazy. Uh, and then on the Philly side, we see Bilotti, Brogdon, and Hand. Um, I, I think Bilotti and Brogdon, um, you know, with how many righties Houston has, um, you know, 
seeing those guys and what they bring to the table, a was fun just on a general baseball, uh, you know, level, like how many Phillies games do I truly watch during a regular season? When I see Cobro and Bilotti come in, it's not a ton. You, you just got to be honest, uh, seeing Bilotti find his little tight slider. It took him a couple pitches. Uh, and then Brogdon's got one of those nice righty changeups, uh, that he pulled a couple of those, with the bullpen game coming up and a Ranger Suarez game, you know, those guys are probably going to be factors. They get their feet wet. They look good, but also Houston gets to see them. Yeah, they get to see Hand. They get to see Bilotti. Brad Hand with one of the only one, two, three innings. Astros were kind of like, nah, this isn't worth our time. That's the old bait and switch, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Um. I, I would stick with Framber, man. And I know I heard, I was watching you guys when you were saying, like, take him out or what are you doing? Just his mentality on the mound is is worthwhile, even if his stuff dips. Like, And, and that's he, what the. Yeah. Go. He because uh, what was it? He that sixth inning Schwarber walk. Hoskins single and then it's real Mudo Harper. I. He did his first pitch to JT Real Muto uh, was kind of a it actually the first two strikes he threw to JT had a lot of plate and it was just like okay he gave up a walk he gave up a single you know pitch count in the 90s it's a World Series game so you know it, that's not a regular season 90 pitches and again just just the magnitude if Houston somehow lost this game um uh, to have a team that has such a strong bullpen during the regular season. Um, I, I get both sides and it ends up not being problem. And, and Framber Framber ends up being that dude for a couple more outs, but um, I don't know. A couple scary pitches. Yeah. Yeah. He started to miss spots more, but he's, he's so dominant early. Even the, the Hoskins was like an O2 curveball in the zone. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I found an article from 2011 when they banned that bat and the uh, the president of the company that made the bat said it's actually something that we welcome. We don't want all that breakage on the field. <laughs> we agree. Ban, ban us. We're bad. We're bad. Take me to jail, please. Phillies at home haven't lost a playoff game at home. Neither had the Astros before the World Series, and the atmosphere is going to be awesome. And you hope that the Phillies can control the game like the Astros controlled game too. Cindergard McCullers, uh, how's your hair? That's fun. Um, you know, uh, Cindergard, talk about an interesting, I mean, ca career path to now get him to this point. Uh, in the playoffs, he's looked kind of solid. We'll see what he can give to them. I mean, even if he looks good, like I, he's not like stretched out, stretched out. Um, and then Lance McCullers Jr., uh, a guy who's wants to be the bad guy. If, if there's one man, that's awesome. Like if I had to pick maybe one starting pitcher in baseball that could go into Philadelphia on a World Series year, on a Halloween night and be doing fizz faces on the mound. Like, I don't care. I mean, Lance McCullough is a pretty good dude for that one. Um, so it, yeah, I it's, mean, it, it was the only pitcher that didn't pitch well in the CS. Against uh, what do you do against the Yanks? It was the only game the Yankees scored runs. They dinked and dunked all over them. Sure. Um, I I don't want to overhype it because I expectations. Sometimes if you if you come into a movie not expecting a lot and you get a B plus, you, you like the movie even more. The city of Philadelphia and what Halloween does to our society and a World Series game does to our society. I just hope that place is a nut house. And I, you know, it it could be a mem. My brain's not so good. I want to remember this game forever, and I think it has a chance for that. Tough task. 
Amazing. Tough task, though, for me. Because you're going to be live streaming. It's tough to remember things while you're streaming. So Can't remember a lot. We might have special guests coming. We'll see, which could add to it. Who? I guess I can't. I can't say over there. Uh, I tone the slab crew is trying to come through. I, I forget if oh, it that'd was, be awesome. I forget if it was three or four. Jerry Blevins will be in town. So yeah, the colors won five innings pitched, three earned runs against the Yankees with eight hits, one walk. So pretty bad whip, in trouble a lot. Um, the only pitcher the Yankees did anything against. That doesn't mean much because he can come out and be lights out. He's pretty good. Right. So. He's, he's a good pitcher. But he, yeah. Uh, and the Phillies. Syndergaard, that- Syndergaard's pitch count super low. Like, I wonder if this is. Uh, I, I'm very interested to see how Topper manages this game for the Phillies, being it's one to one, especially if they're tied or, or down, down, a, down a run or two. Interested to see. If they're up, it gets a little easier for them. But if they're down close or tied, even like up close, it's very interesting to see what Topper does here. Uh, Cindergard, he threw 35 pitches in three innings against the Braves. That was kind of the most he throws. I, I think that's kind of the most you'd be expecting. I think you're those five guys who pitched in game one. I mean, Sir Anthony, Alvarado, uh, Eflin, um, you know, D Rob, you've got enough pieces of. If you're the Phillies, but like you've been saying, Jim, with what they're doing with their bullpen, if the Astros steal one, like that changes the series. That like if the Astros steal one, the Astros have such a big leg up in this that yeah, uh, a tight game in who's Philly. the bridge guy to those guys, the guys you just named. If they say they got Alvarado, Sir Anthony, D Rob, those three. For four innings, nine, eight, seven, six. Now you go Eflin again as the as a bridge. Uh, say Syndergaard gives you two just to play so, on the lesser side. That's probably if you could get four from Syndergaard and Eflin. Um, I, I think that's a goal. And then you're so then the only inning we're missing there would be a Brogdon or Bilotti or someone who I, I, I think they can do that. But yeah, you, someone has a bad day and that's that's where bullpen days get really scary. But they also, you know, in that first game, Alvarado only threw <laughs> seven pitches in Two one pitches. inning. Like, well, yeah, but I, I have them getting, you know, four. You're not going to get five of those guys in the game three in a five game set. Think of it more as it, a five. You can't anticipate it. You can't anticipate. Think of it as a five game series in this game one. You're not going to burn your entire bullpen. Yeah. So I'm interested. Yeah. Brogdon, Bilotti. I mean, I don't know. Hand comes in to get the last out of an inning. Like they're going to have to play because Syndergaard went 35. He went 16 in the in the other DS game and he went 17 in the CS out of the pen instead of starting. So I'm interested. That's going to be fun to watch. How does he do that bullpen? And and maybe the other maybe the other thing is maybe like everyone, maybe everyone gets three batters and like because you have Ranger Suarez the next day who you like, but he already pitched in this series, so you need a bullpen the next day. So may, maybe everyone's going to get invited to the dance on a spooky night in Philly. Ooh, excited to watch it! All right, well enjoy the rest of your Sundays. And see you Tuesday morning. No episode tomorrow. No game to recap. Bones are their money.